we're still kind of in the midst of this mm -hmm. incredibly hot period in Bay Area history. Yeah. But, you know, it remains to be seen how hot we're going to get and where it ranks. If we had a scale, this would yeah. be the top of it. We for had this year, for sure. Locations right. around the Bay Area, other yeah. spots around the state that set all-time record high temperatures. Not the record for September 5th, not the record for the month of September, any day, yeah. any time of year, the hottest temperature. And this is going to continue for as long as this heat dome is locked in place. We talked about the kind of background of this heat dome earlier in the newscast. We'll talk about it again at 6 o'clock in case you missed it. But the short version is this isn't going anywhere. It tends to be a very stubborn, very persistent weather pattern. So the heat advisory and the excessive heat warning have both been extended all the way through Thursday. The heat advisory around the bay indicates that people who have some kind of health sensitivity to the heat may have some difficulty. So check on friends and neighbors, especially the elderly. The excessive heat warning means be very careful, even if you regard yourself as a healthy person, that heat is a cumulative threat. It can just wear you down the longer it lasts, and it is going to last for several more days. Let's take a look at the air quality, which is the other side of this entire thing. That wasn't bad today. We had a lot of green, but also some yellow dots on the map indicating moderate air quality, but not as bad as anticipated. Unfortunately, this heat dome overhead also tends to trap any kind of pollution, whether it's smog or smoke, right at ground level. So I think the air quality is going to dip into that unhealthy for sensitive groups range inland in the East Bay and in the Santa Clara Valley on Tuesday. It's going to be in the moderate category for the rest of the Bay Area. So tomorrow, in addition to being a first alert day, is also a spare the air alert day because of the poor air quality. Looking outside right now, it's not bad at the moment. Some haze on the horizon, but again, that's going to be much more present tomorrow. Look at these high temperatures today. Well, 65 degrees in Pacifica. Lucky you. It was 51 degrees hotter than that in Livermore at 116 degrees. That's one of the spots that set its all-time record high temperature. 116 downtown Livermore is 113 at the Livermore Airport. 112 in Santa Rosa at the Sonoma County Airport and downtown Santa Rosa. Got up to 104 degrees in San Jose, also a record. 97 in Fremont. Got to 91 degrees for downtown San Francisco, and it's still 86. Look at these inland temperatures. It's above 110 degrees in Santa Rosa, in Napa, in Concord, in Livermore, and in Fairfield. It's still 115 degrees right now in Fairfield and we have very hot weather in store again tomorrow and part of the problem is when it gets this hot during the day there's only the so much the atmosphere can do to lose that heat overnight so temperatures are going to stay in the 60s and 70s you don't get a chance to recover that's part of the cumulative effect of these hot air masses so temperatures tomorrow maybe not hitting 90 in San Francisco but still a good 15 degrees above normal into the mid 80s Santa Rosa is likely to make it up to around 106 degrees. It's six degrees cooler than today, but it's still dangerously hot. Concord likely to be over 110 degrees during the afternoon. Another day of record heat inland in the East Bay. San Jose is going to be close to record territory, reaching up to 103 in the afternoon. Fill in the rest of the map. Again, 70s along the coast, but otherwise 80s and 90s around the bay. Widespread 100 to 115 degree high temperatures farther inland. Dangerously hot. Stay cool. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. And the temperatures are going to stay way above average as we head through the rest of the work week. Records tomorrow out of reach for San Francisco and Oakland. Close in San Jose. The record's 105 within five degrees of tomorrow's record in Santa Rosa and Concord and Livermore, both likely to break record high temperatures on Tuesday. Temperatures back down a little bit on Wednesday. It'll be most noticeable near the water, but backing down still means San Jose hits the mid 90s and it's back up close to 100 degrees in the Santa Clara Valley on Thursday. We may have to extend our alert, those heat advisories and excessive heat warnings all the way into Friday because there's still going to be plenty of spots in the upper 90s and low 100s for the end of the work week. And then we gradually back away from that extreme heat as we head into the weekend. Jules?